Let's figure out what the hell to do today. <laughs> things first let's get this thing out of the driveway or into the driveway in reverse i don't know what i'm doing today but we're gonna do something so what should i do today guys like seriously i have no clue what to do i could clean the camaro again but i've already done like a video on that washing the camaro and i feel like i wash the car too many times a week the towel over there is kind of dirty but it's so much work cleaning that thing because it's a lot bigger vehicle i still have to finish washing my neighbor's Explorer's engine bay so but it's gone right now so I can't do that uh, I posted the Q&A thing on Instagram and instead of getting questions I got someone to tell I uh, got one person telling me I should buy an 04 Cobra and nothing else so I'm kind of out of ideas for today's video why is my car stuck in first gear there we go and it's hot as hell in here so for starters Let's just turn the car on so I can get the AC on in here. Still wish it was louder. I closed the door and it kind of got louder in here. Weird. But uh, whatever. I could do the five things I hate about my car today. But the thing is that I have to do some video. I have to get some videos with my dad driving. Cause I have to show you guys. Oh, I can't explain it, cause I don't want to um, let you guys know what it is. But like, there's parts of the video I have to record with the car being driven, so I can't show you guys. I can't just do the video myself. I need my dad to drive it, cause I can't drive yet. But I don't know. What the hell should I do? Okay, let's just get the car out of here for starters. Oh, my dad was driving this car. I can tell. My seat's like way too far back. So let's just get the car to the driveway, put it back in reverse, and then maybe we'll, maybe I'll polish it because it, or wax it a little because there's like bird poop everywhere and stuff. Or maybe I'll just rewash it, I don't even know, but let's see what happens. So, yeah, let's go. So I decided what I'm going to do today. Since tomorrow, well, there's a few things going down tomorrow. Um, for starters, I got to drop, or me and my dad got to go drop my mom off at the airport because she's going to Central America to go, uh, visit my uh, grandma and her and my great grandma um sadly i'm not going with her but she's gonna go and we gotta go take her and then after that there's a car of coffee in modesto so if i what is that noise okay anyways so if i do go to cars and coffee tomorrow this car's gotta be clean just like i did this last week wash the car for a cars and coffee i didn't go to but this week I should go to it. So, let's get the car ready. Get ready to some bird poop. Again, birds are on my car. Bird poop on my car again, I swear. And what I'm going to start with is interior. Because my interior is quite dirty today. For exa example, look at my trunk. Just look at this. It's And so the reason this is that dirty. Um, so there's this person who had to take my Camaro to work because I kind of broke their truck yeah <laughs> so my dad was taking the Camaro to work for a few days um, that up there. he took it like a week I think because I broke the alternator bracket well I don't know if it was me or because we went off road in the lake a little bit but the, the, the point is it was broken so he was taking this to work for a few days but now it's time for me to clean it okay let's see what's going on in here then we got dirty floor mats, dirty plastic, probably dirty carpet. We got pennies in here, a dirty door. It looks like it was kicked open. Let's go around to this side. And I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> I'm allergic to dirty Camaros. That's why my Camaro is always clean. Nothing much on this side because it's the passenger side. No one's in the passenger seat unless me. I, I I technically always have my car clean. So I feel like I'm talking a lot. And nothing's really going on in this vlog. Sorry guys, this vlog might be boring. Please don't leave it yet. Please just watch a little bit longer. It might get good. Okay, it might not. Honestly, it probably won't. Just keep watching. Do it for me, guys. Do it for Savage Camaro. Come on, show some love. 
Oh, oh, by the way, talking about showing some love, you guys are awesome. On my splitter install video, it is almost at a thousand views. And I also have another video called, uh, I think it's titled NorCal Head Turners Car Club. And it was a video I shot at the Cars and Coffee in Danville the first time we went. And it was kind of just the cinematic shots of our car club's cars. And it's at 1,148 views right now, so that's awesome. Uh, also, my subscriber base has been growing pretty drastic. Like, it's been growing. I'm not going to say it's been growing like, oh my god, I'm getting like 20,000 subscribers a day. Like, f famous vloggers, but whatever. It's been growing, progressively growing, you know. It's been growing. Let's leave it at that. But I'm 122 subs, so that's good. I'm happy. So, yeah. I, I see a Honda rolling into my neighborhood. Oh, okay. Neighbor's car. Okay, whatever. Okay, guys, so let's get into it. I keep saying let's get into it, and I'm not doing anything, so. First thing I do when I'm cleaning my interior is I always take out my floor mats. That's step one. So, get this out try to trap as much dirt as it has in the floor mat oh my god the carpet is kind of dirty I'll lay these out in front of the car because I'm probably gonna wash them here have all of my mats out of the out of the car I will wash those I'll do that in a second though and I also will vacuum all the carpet in the car with my weird looking vacuum that was a house vacuum converted into a car. Don't ask. I don't even know how to explain that. The trunk is pretty clean, so I'm just gonna do the front uh, driver and passenger seat. Um, pretty sure my back seats, you can't even see the carpet. My seats rolled all the way back, and you can't even see the carpet. Look at the amount of space. You don't even have any space. Like, if your seats rolled all the way back, my hand barely fits back here. I've never tried to see that. Man, I feel bad if someone's sitting in the back and they start rolling their seat all the way back. Like, if if, the, if someone's sitting behind the driver and the driver wants to be cruel and just rolls the seat all the way back, they'd probably, like, break their legs. But let's start vacuuming. I'm going to put you guys in a time lapse because this video is going to be too long if I talk all the way, so... Put you guys in the tripod. And time lapse. <laughs> interior, my phone overheated and stopped recording, so don't have footage of me cleaning it, but I'll tell you guys what I did. So, I used my plastic cleaner or interior detailer spray to clean all these plastic things, the GPS screen up here, some of this, and then also over there on the uh, gauges and all that, um, some plastic up here, the doors, I generally use most of it to clean most of the doors. And then I use my leather restorer from Jack's Wax or leather cleaner uh, to clean my seats. The door thing right there, the armrest, this part of the dash, and uh, oh, the uh, shifter boot. So that's pretty much what I used on that. Oh, and the center console. Oh, and a little bit of the back seats. Didn't clean much back there because it's never dirty back there. No one's really ever back there, so not much of a mess back there. But now I'm going to wash the car. You guys already seen what I do in that process, so I'm not going to show you guys. I'll skip um, to the next step, which is going to be polishing the car. So here's the clip of that. <clears throat> Done washing it. Now I'm going to hit it with the polisher. With the polish, as it says in the back of the bottle. I'm going to start with my trunk. It looks pretty good right now. Like, it don't even look like it has swirl marks. None of my car does. But in certain lighting as most cars tend to do it looks awful i mean you can see swirl marks everywhere and i'm gonna need my tripod where the hell is it put you guys right here tilt you guys down a little bit so you guys can see the trunk so first things first is i'm gonna dab the polish on to the trunk let me get the cord over my shoulder so it doesn't scratch the paint. And then I'm going to start at the minimal speed. And just slowly get it into the paint.
Now that I've worked it once lightly, I'll turn up the speed to about three. I'm going to come over here with a super soft microfiber cloth or cotton. I don't even know what this cloth is, but it's really soft and just take off any of the residue off. <coughs> that didn't sound good. Just getting it all cleaned. Clean all that polish off. Get every last bit of it off. There's some water coming out of my spoiler. <laughs> That's not cool. Doesn't help the process here. Okay, but anyways, now that I'm done with that, I am gonna just look at it over real quick. I'm gonna give it maybe one more go because I still see like right here. You guys can't see it on camera most likely. Or I'm certain you guys can't see it, but right here. Um the sun's hitting it a little bit right now, so I can see some swirl marks. And I'm sure the shrunk is still covered in swirl marks. And it probably needs, this car for sure needs a professional paint correction. Now, you guys on camera or pictures you see on Instagram, my car's paint looks really good. But it really isn't. I mean, I'm not saying my car's paint is bad, but it does have a lot of swirl marks on it. The previous owner, it's mostly from just bad um, techniques from washing it or drying it. It's what mostly caused these swirl marks. Uh, using a dirty mitt or going in swirl motions when you use your mitt and dry on washing process. But um, maybe one day I'll take it to a professional paint corrector. Uh, he can restore the paint for me, get most of those swirl marks out, or eventually I'll learn how to get it out myself. Maybe, maybe not, most likely not. Or I'll, I'll try to, I mean, I don't know. Maybe one of you guys down below can comment if you guys want to help me out. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm pretty sure this thing has more spill. So, I finished polishing, as you guys saw. I'm not going to polish the whole car, I'm just going to do the trunk today, and I'm also going to wax it. I am waxing the whole car though, that's one thing I'm doing for sure, is waxing the whole car. The wax I use is, what brand is it again? Golden Class, hold on, give me a second guys. There you go. Meguiar's? It is Golden Class, whatever, this stuff. It works, it does a pretty good job. I've been using that for a while. Um, it's worked decent. I mean, well, it gives it a nice look and it's really soft. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it does a pretty good job. Uh, it was pretty cheap. It was like, I think $7 for that thing. Or maybe a little bit more or less. I don't know. Give or take a few, uh, few dollars. But yeah, I'm gonna wax the whole rest of the car. So I'll get back to you guys once I'm done. All right, guys. The Camaro is... Why am I talking like this? The Camaro is not very clean, guys. I <laughs> I'm done. Okay, guys. So, I wax this. I wax this. I wax this. I wax this. I wax this door. I wax right here. And I got tired and didn't finish. So, I'm not finishing the car today because I am lazy and don't want to. And it's also like 90 degrees out here, so I'm tired. It's hot. So, I'll finish it tomorrow before Cars and Coffee, hopefully. Uh, if I even have time tomorrow, I don't even know. I might not even go to Cars and Coffee, but hopefully I do. Hopefully I can. I'll try to order my ticket right now. But uh, this video wasn't as good as I wanted it to. This isn't the best video I know. Probably kind of boring. Me washing my car again. But whatever, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in a video that's better than this one. Peace out.